I hate these names. N513KK0. Okay, the next question <laughs> is from N513KK0 asks, I bought a couple of True Fire courses after recently picking up my guitar again. I'm looking for advice and or a plan to help me progress and stay focused. What are good practice habits? What things do I need when I practice? How long or how often should I practice? And how should I divide that time? Let's let's start with the when should you practice. Was there a how long you should practice in there too? Yeah. All right, yeah. Let's, let's start with that one. You should practice for as long as you want to. It's, it's just that simple. If you don't want to do it, don't. Don't do it. There's nothing worse than playing music or picking up your instrument and feel like you're doing it just because you think you should do it because you think you want to. If you want to, pick it up. If you don't, don't. Um, I, you know, when I first started teaching, I taught a lot of kids, and parents would ask me the same thing. How long should my child practice? Uh, or how long should I make them practice? And I would stop them right there. Um, it, it, when I was a kid, no one ever told me to practice. I did it because I loved it, and I did it all the time. So I was always doing it. Um, if you have to tell your child or tell yourself to practice, you know, maybe you shouldn't practice. Um, it, you'll practice, you know, if you're picking up the guitar again, you're probably having a great time and you're going to play as much as you can. Um, I know in adult life, which I've fought as long as I could, but it still came, um, you don't have a lot of time and it's really frustrating. Even doing this for a living, this is what I do. Um, you know, I have a guitar in my hand every day, all day, and I still don't get to practice that much. So when the time comes, I take advantage of it and try to play for every second that I have. So whatever time you have, play. I bet you'll be playing more than you think that you should be. Something like that. Um, as for what to practice, that's a very important thing to consider. Um, everybody has a different way of organizing things. Um, I like to write things down. Like a lot of times in the beginning of the day, I will just make a short list for myself. Nothing on the computer, nothing, you know, nothing fancy. I just will take a piece of paper and just write down the five or six things I have to do, uh, you know, finish such and such article, um, um, you know, finalize True Fire uh, course outline, etc. And there's, it's, it's the same thing when I'm getting ready for gigs and I'm learning tunes. Uh, I'll map out the tunes, what parts in the tunes that, that I have to do. So what I'm saying is, put put down in your list what it is that you want to practice. Uh, if you're looking for what to practice. That's something only you can answer. Um, it depends on what it is you want to achieve. Do you want to play in a band? Uh, do you want to play in a cover band? Get a repertoire, learn five tunes a day, or three tunes a day, whatever you can handle. And uh, every day, go back before you start learning new tunes, review the tunes you did before, and at the end of the week, assess, do I know, do I know my 25 tunes or my 15 tunes? Uh, do you want to be a better soloist? Then you need to map out a couple things a day that are going to get you there. Um, do something with technique, something with improvising, something with ear training, um, something theoretical. You know, split the time into where you have certain segments dedicated to one thing. I remember Steve Morris, I read it somewhere in the one millionth guitar magazine that I've put my eyes on, and he said that he only spends 10 minutes on each thing. To, you know, he condenses things in very small increments and it was something like 10 minutes and he also said something else if I can play it 10 times in a row perfect I got it if I can't you know until I can that's then I need to work on it and um, that small increments thing is very true if you stay focused for 10 minutes on one thing one thing you'll get way more out of it than you will with not making that conscious dedication or that commitment and just saying hey I'm going to get to it or I'm going to play and the next thing you know an hour goes by and you've Maybe practice what you wanted to practice for 30 seconds, but noodled for the other 59 minutes and 30 seconds. So I guess the ultimate advice is if you organize what you're doing, you'll get far more out of the little time that you probably have to, uh, to actually practice. What do you need when you practice? A metronome. Absolutely, positively, no getting around it. Have a metronome. You can have a fancy drum machine or you can have a little Seiko DM20, I know that model just because I had one for a zillion years. Uh, whatever it takes. Have some kind of timekeeper. You don't have a metronome? Metronomeonline.com. I don't think TrueFire has the metronome anymore on the, the homepage. I don't think so. There used to be. 
If the True Fire metronome is down, go to metronomeonline.com if you don't have one. Play with time. All the time. That's absolutely the most important thing. It will come up when you're playing by yourself, playing with people. Playing music out of time in a bad way is a very bad thing. And nothing is worse. You could be out of tune and play it in the pocket and it'll sound great for the most part. Um, as for what else you should have, whatever it is you need. Again, it goes back to what it is you're trying to achieve. Um, you know, have the tools you want to. Don't be afraid to play with pedals. I'm not saying that because I'm, you know, of my my evil history with pedals. I'm saying that because if you want to practice something and, and that's going to be incorporated in it, a lot of people think when they practice something that there has to be this scholastic mode, that they go into learner mode and everything has to be simple or everything has to be regimented and they have to get proper. You know, when you practice, practice what you do, not go into, okay, well, I'm practicing now. No, I mean, like, what it, you know, if you're, if you're practicing playing gritty, then play gritty. Get your tube screamer out. Get your, get your whatever out. Crank your Marshall. Turn everything to the right. Because that stuff actually takes practice. It's no fun going up to a gig or going to a gig or jam session and having never really played loud and all of a sudden having to compete with a drummer and a bass player and a singer and a PA system and, and not knowing how that feels. Not knowing how to control a volume knob. Not knowing how to control feedback or even just realizing that wow my technique is not that clean practice your sound you know make sure that you practice everything that goes along with it not just playing the guitar 